hello, hello, welcome back again to another stream, how you all doing, I hope you all doing well, welcome, welcome, today I am back again with another just chatting stream, uh, where we just sit back, relax, uh, watch some videos, chat, and all of that, <laughs> um, I have, uh, found a video already that does look interesting that we could watch. Just give me one second. Yeah, there we go. Uh, it is from Bills. It is the youngest streamer uh, that you forgot existed. I thought that could be uh, fun to watch. So yeah, I. Ah! <laughs> I, uh, I decided uh, that we could watch it. Uh, f uh, yeah, for today. And hello, Drake. How you doing, Arson? Fuck yeah. <laughs> So yeah, uh, there we go, and uh, yeah, the youngest streamer that you forgot about by Bills, let's check it out. In the late 2010s, esports started to take off and become more widely respected within the community, with competitive players like Ninja and Tifu setting the scene for creators to step also, up to Also, of course, if you e have something more that known, could be fun Fortnite to watch, just be sure to suggest and in the it in chat of months, if you want Fortnite to. Fortnite went from a couple great players to a whole bunch of pro players that took the game seriously, and these players all wanted to be the next Ninja that would take the competitive scene Say by I could, uh, for regular players like myself, my it made the game uh, a lot more annoying and harder to play, but for other players, it made the game extremely fun. Not for me, though. I've made a severe and continuous lapse. Did he just throw a grenade on, his, on himself? Oh, he did. Oh my god, it's. Oh god. <laughs> Bro, oh. I just shot myself with a rocket launcher. I'm sweet. As esports started to rise, more organizations started to form and cater <laughs> to competitive play. And with Fortnite being the next big thing, these organizations started to sign more and more pro players. FaZe High Sky was one of those pro players slash content creators oh who God. caught the attention of FaZe in 2019. And with time, FaZe High Sky or Patrick started to gain a following, boasting over 2.5 million subscribers and over 200 Jesus. million views over on his YouTube channel. But I'm guessing you either never heard of him or forgot about him because as of today, Patrick only receives around 50,000 to 100,000 views per upload and hasn't uploaded Damn. a new video since February 2nd of this year. So what happened to FaZe High Sky and why did the majority of his audience forget about him and his channel? Today on the channel, we figure I out what exactly happened to Patrick and why his Listen channel because died I think a year and where he's been over the I past I don't know when he got months. popular, but High Sky just started his career never... off slow, streaming the majority of the games he played, which yeah. was pretty much Fortnite whenever because he was able Fortnite to get online. Just off he created like his YouTube channel in August 2017 now. and uploaded videos showcasing his skill within the the game. This started to move High Sky up the ranks and eventually he was receiving around 100,000 views per video. The first video ever uploaded to his channel consisted of a montage of all of his best eliminations which again showcased his skill. High Sky's age played a huge factor on why he'd received so much attention. When his first video went live, he was only 11 years old, and you Jesus. can tell that he was very young because of his high-pitched voice. This was extremely impressive for someone that young to be that good at a competitive video game. He'd play against pro Damn. players, and he held his own against them. And as the competition got better over time, so did he. Dropping 42 eliminations in a duo squad game in February of 2019. This was impressive. Once again, his age was a big factor for his success. I remember that kids around his age during 2019 all wanted to be Fortnite YouTubers, and High Sky was doing just that, showcasing his skill against older competition and during tournaments. Patrick continued to grow as a content creator and eventually caught the attention of the legendary FaZe Clan in March of 2019. This was detrimental to his growth, and I think FaZe hmm. wanted to sign him to a contract before other organizations caught on to just how good FaZe High Sky would end up becoming. The video Patrick did with Myth really showcased his skill level and was one of the reasons why FaZe Clan looked at him as a new acquisition to their team of content creators. And it became official. FaZe High Sky was the youngest content creator that joined FaZe, and it was solidified when Patrick uploaded a video to his channel titled The Life of the Youngest Member in FaZe Clan, which showcased Impressive. his time visiting the FaZe House and also showed off the packages he received today. from FaZe Clan. 
This video but received I think 20 I could million make views it. and is his I think most I'm gonna viewed do video next ever week. on his channel. The comments of the video are pretty much all positive comments, with users stating, Can't lie, this was the most wholesome video I've watched in a while. And, seeing this kid being surrounded with all the things I wanted as a kid really makes me happy for some odd reason. For the most part, FaZe High Sky's fanbase loved the fact that he was a part of FaZe Clan okay, hello, and really Nicolai. loved how, how genuine and humble well. Patrick was even with all the pressure of being a content creator at such a young age. This was a dream come true for Patrick and signing with FaZe Clan was just the cherry on top of this amazing dream that was coming to fruition. Patrick started to become bigger than his gameplay and fans of his content loved the vlogs that he'd upload to his channel. Those videos started to generate even more views than his Fortnite videos, which prompted him to create even more vlog style videos for his community. His fans loved the fact that they saw him grow up during his years on the platform and fans around his age all probably felt like they had things in common with Patrick. His rising popularity went unscathed for months, but when the drama between Tifu and FaZe Clan picked up steam, Patrick was stuck in the crossfire. In May of 2019, oh just a couple months after the massive signing of FaZe High Sky to FaZe Clan, Tifu would sue FaZe Clan for an oppressive contract oh. which limited the sponsors he was able to work with. Huh. During this time, Tifu also pointed out how FaZe took up to 80% of his sponsorship earnings. To get leverage on the situation, Tifu turned to the California Labor Commissioner during the same month that FaZe High Sky was signed to FaZe. His comments made towards FaZe talk about how Patrick was underage and FaZe pressured Patrick and his parents to lie about his age in order to get a contract which was against the law. Huh. In the beginning of the video, I stated that Patrick was 11 years old when he created his account, which he was. But in order to sign the contract, stream on Twitch, and also stream on YouTube, you had to be at least the age of 13, and Patrick was not. True. After the statements yeah, from Tifu like, went public, I kind of Patrick's about that, age actually. was confirmed, he was banned off of Twitch, and was unable to compete during Fortnite tournaments until he was the age of 13. But he Oof. was still able to upload content to YouTube and also live stream on the platform as long as his mom could be seen throughout his live stream. In June, Fair. a month after the lawsuit came to light, FaZe High Sky published a diss track to his channel. In the beginning, he states that it's a lighthearted video, but I do think he got some help from the other FaZe members that could be seen throughout the music video. And during that same week, he'd also speak about the situation and how he had to lie about his age because he couldn't wait that long to get into FaZe and also compete during the Fortnite tournaments. It's good to point out that his mom seems like she supports his behavior as well during this return live stream, stating that Patrick was a young genius. My Twitch account was suspended due to be me, me being underage. And yes, I am 12. I only lied so that I can Damn. fulfill my dream of being like a streamer. It's been my dream for a long time and I worked for, like for a year and a half for it. And I'm sorry that I lied, but I had to lie. I was too young and it held me back and I just couldn't wait two more years. So You are my okay. genius. You are young and you are okay, genius. Mom. You are amazing. <laughs> Patrick ended 2019 hmm. off with consistent views over 100,000 views per video. But the following year, FaZe High Sky took a leap in channel growth. He'd come up with new ideas for his videos, which kept the content feeling fresh and new. And he would eventually hit a huge milestone of 2 million subscribers in August of 2020. Thank you guys so much. 2 million subscribers and 2 million followers on Instagram. Such a crazy milestone. So thank you guys so much for helping me out on this journey. Thank you. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to smash that like button. Hit that sub button. Turn on post notifications. And have an amazing day, Epic Gamers. Peace. 2020 was a huge year for FaZe High Sky and other content creators in general. The pandemic happened and everyone was in lockdown. Fortnite reached its first peak and streaming was again at an all time high. This year saw FaZe High Sky constantly surpass 1 million views almost every single time he uploaded to his channel. But this high eventually reached its ceiling and once his channel peaked, he started to lose momentum and views every single month. Now this could be due to two prevalent things that happened after 2020. The world started to go back to somewhat normal, and as the country went back to work, less and less people were at home with nothing to do or watch, so streaming and content in general was less viewed. Also, Fortnite hit its first peak and started to slow down. Creators started to play other games and switch up their content altogether, but it didn't help that Patrick started to lose ideas for his channel and videos as well. 
The channel that once was filled with a bunch of ideas that made his videos entertaining and differed from other Fortnite content creators started to run dry of ideas, and Patrick started to upload the same style of content, which up to this point began to turn stale for his audience. Fortnite was great for a couple years, but it started to lose its hype around the start of 2021, and a lot of content creators within the Fortnite genre switched because of the loss in hype around Fortnite. With dwindling views, FaZe High Sky started to become less consistent and the times he did upload to his channel, the content was pretty simple to create like tier list videos and reactionary content, which was low effort content. There was a break in content from October 13th, called, called 2021 <laughs> through February 13th, 2022. And when FaZe High Sky <clears throat> finally came back to his channel, he uploaded a vlog titled FaZe High Sky is Missing. This video barely cracked 100,000 views and this was a sign that his content was really starting to fall off. Leading up to the present day, views on his channel have really taken a hit and I believe this correlated with him uploading less and less and also with Fortnite not being as popular as it once was in 2020. His videos became way less effort and when he did upload videos that had some kind of substance, the video itself was only 8 minutes and a couple seconds long in order to place a mid-roll ad. There's no doubt that FaZe High Sky has lost his passion for content creation. His last video ever uploaded to his channel was uploaded two months ago, but it's not like he's not active on other forms of social media. FaZe High Sky is pretty active on Instagram, gaining a follower count of 1.7 million followers. Damn. But Patrick is only 16 years old, and the reason why he probably hasn't been huh. as active is just because of life. 16 is his teenage years, and sometimes that could take a toll on a kid that's growing up. Maybe he's not as interested in being a content creator like he was back in the day, or maybe the constant need to upload videos to maintain relevancy and status drained him to a point where he just needs a break from creating videos on his channel. I believe the drama surrounding FaZe Clan and the collapse of their stock and FaZe Rain coming out against the group all kept FaZe High Sky away from uploading to his channel. Now I'm not too sure when we will ever see FaZe High Sky upload to his channel once again, but it could be once all the drama and negativity surrounding the group start to fade away. Again, FaZe High Sky is still extremely young and has his whole life ahead of him where he can decide what he would like to do with his life as he grows up. But this is all my opinion on the situation and what happened with FaZe High Sky and where and when we might see him again. But what do you think happened with FaZe High Sky and his YouTube career? Do you think the recent controversies within FaZe Clan has stopped Patrick from creating content? Let me know in the comments below. If you have any content creators that you'd like me to check out, and cover in the next video please send me a dm over on instagram my link to my page will be in the comments below if you don't have instagram another way you could send me a suggestion is through my discord server that will also be linked in the comments below if you enjoyed the video please consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel to never miss any future uploads thank you all so much for watching and i will see you in the next video long day in the office okay and then you interesting and you see oh who is this guy no, this better not be a TikTok trend. Stop. Damn, crazy to think about he's only like two years younger than me. Holy fuck. <laughs> uh, oh, what else could we watch? Uh, yeah, uh, Daily Doubles. Let's see what they have uploaded. If I could spell daily dose of internet, let's see what they have uploaded uh, this week. Okay, let's see. Uh, the silence uh, was so loud. Ooh. Hello everyone, this is your daily dose of internet. Hello. Her family surprised her and they wanted to celebrate her 21st birthday. <laughs> Damn, oh my god. <laughs> oh wow. Oh my god. <laughs> These people <laughs> paid no! the bartender to give this guy a shot of water. <laughs> Yo. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! This is what it looks like that inside sucks. the womb when a pregnant woman starts laughing. Oh god! <laughs> Everyone understand! 
Who left the baby in the dryer? <laughs> this girl refused to eat these pancakes because they were too cute. What did he say? Pizza to the land outside. A land air site. I, I thought he said land mine This girl refused to eat these pancakes because they were too cute. I mean, it does look fucking adorable, but... Oh my god. This cat has asthma and needs to use an inhaler twice a day, every day, for treatment. Oh. Good job, bud. These two ants somehow oh. have the strength oh. to pull this giant cockroach. What? Yo! <laughs> what?! I had no idea that Yo. deer could have Adam's apples too. I found this cat cool. that has some really unique eyes. Oh. Hi. Yo, he is staring hey, down precious. my soul. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> this dog kept bothering her and really wanted some of her water. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <a> little bastard. <laughs> oh, see you later. Oh! <laughs> Yo, we did a backflip! Yo! This guy was kind of impressive. Enough to let everyone else in the plane watch the game. Yeah. <laughs> Look at how smiley this cat nice. is. Nice. Oh, that's so that's so cute. I love that. Nailed it. <laughs> what the fuck? That is the end of this video, or we hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys again very, very soon. Later. <laughs> that was kind of cute. <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, next thing. Uh, she was too distracted on the... Oh, no. <laughs> Hello, everyone. This is your Daily Dose of Internet. Hello. Don't worry, nobody was hurt. Deserved. Obviously, deserved. <laughs> what did I say? Honk for 2022 grad? <laughs> so, this is actually really, really cool. <laughs> this woman trained her hamster to trim her nails. Okay, that is kind of cool. Uh, you want some cereal? What? Yeah. Can I make it for you in a minute when I'm done using the bathroom? <sighs> Damn. I've never seen a picture <laughs> like this in my entire uh, life. This man found a weird type of mole rat in Romania. What? <laughs> what? What is? <laughs> I mean, the noise this is, like, is a cute. professional. Please do not attempt. This pilot wanted to show off his skills by having his plane dive down and spin while trying his best to not lose any water. Okay, he's still a little bit, but still impressive though that so much of it actually stays in. I think I see a raccoon. That's cool. Damn. A raccoon. Are you a raccoon or a person? Oh, that- Have you ever seen a constipated kitten before? That was a person! Boy. This ape is smart enough to know how to use a juice box. 
What? I started washing parts in a Okay, that's years cool. Old, and I wound up teaching at the highest level for General Motors. There's no higher than that. You can fix anything but me. <laughs> Can't fix stupid. This is a professional. <clears throat> Please do not attempt. Red Bull attached an entire skate park to a hot air balloon, and then they had a professional BMX rider do tricks up there. I would never do that. Oh my god. Even if I was professional, I would not do that. Oh, fuck no. Oh, God. Doves might be small, Ooh. but when it comes to protecting their eggs, they can really pack a punch. <laughs> Damn. That's, that's some slap. Bro. <laughs> It's just walking normally. I what never the knew fuck? This, but I guess sushi needs to be frozen before being served in restaurants. The purpose is to kill the parasites that are present in fish. So the scientists oh. wanted to see how it works by taking parasites from raw fish and putting them in a freezer. After a few days, he saw that the parasites died, but the eggs from the parasites were still present and were capable of hatching. That is the end of this video. Oh. Or we hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys again very, very soon. Uh. Later. That is scary. I like I like sushi. Oh god. Uh um Nah, fuck it. <laughs> uh What else could we watch? Uh yeah, I think we could watch more of these. Stalker compilations. I just find them interesting to watch. I don't know why, I just think they're interesting to watch. According to TikTok user D, this man followed her around the beach all day on a hot sunny afternoon. Ew. So this man literally was following us throughout the whole day at the beach. It's just a whole group of girls. And he followed us in the water, followed us back out. And then when we leave, he packs up right when we are packing up. Then when we are like packing up, he's standing there waiting for us. He's waiting for us. Where's his ass? He's... You see how he's not going to the exit? He's faking this phone call. He's been on this call since he started packing up when he was waiting for us to leave. And every time that we started walking and I turned my back, he would follow us. But the second I turned around, he would start walking to the side this way. Bro, people are f***ing weird. You see him still Ew. faking his phone call? Like, crazy. Stated that Ew. He began packing up Yucky. The as soon as she did. Whatever this guy's intentions were, they were definitely not good. I don't think so, yeah. Bryn, a TikTok user, said that before she walked to the machine, she was in the corner and this creepy man had been following her around and came up right next to her. Julia uploaded this eerie TikTok video showing a perplexed looking man outside her apartment. According to Julia, the man Damn. attempted to enter but fled before the cops arrived. Let's hope this man is Pussy. for attempting to break into someone else's place. This next guy is so bizarre that he'll give you the creeps. This footage shows a man looking at this woman's phone camera for an inexplicable This probably time. creeped me out. Uh, this was the third time uh, he done the, uh, this uh, to me. I saw a video of him. What the fuck? Was he trying to be funny? If that's the case, no one is laughing. 
in yeah, this no, that's video, just, uh, a woman recently visited London for the first time, and a weird man kept following her around. Yeah. She claims that he would move in one direction, then halt. Then he would follow her lead, stop again, stare, and attempt to approach her without really speaking to her. Uh. She claimed that she would go on a different path, but he would continue after her. Bro. Eventually, she did escape from him, though. What would you do if this happened to you? Sometimes I don't know. you get an instinct that something is awry. For Abby, her intuition proved correct. <coughs> she claims she felt like someone was following her throughout the mall and decided to take out her phone and place it in her back pocket to video the man. It turned out that the guy was following her and acting weird. <laughs> Abby's astute reasoning came in handy Icky. here. There's only so much you can do when you're being followed on the road. You have no choice except to drive away from them in the hopes that they will eventually back off or you lose them somehow. This TikTok user was being followed and had to take some turns to get away from them. Oh boy. <coughs> This next TikTok video was captured at 3 a.m. and shows the uploader being stalked by several unknown individuals. Oh, God. According to this woman, oh, that was TikTok, scary. a man outside was screaming at her and telling her she was going to hell because she didn't believe in God. What the so there's this guy the yelling at me, telling me I'm gonna go to hell because I don't believe in God. He's got this fucking megaphone. Watch. Let's see, he's coming up right now. Talk about a total weirdo. Yeah, I will definitely call the police School if that happened to, to be me. A safe place for children to learn and make friends, but unfortunately, terrifying things can occur there as well. What? Chris Simpson was walking around the halls of his school when he was followed around by a stranger whom he confronted. He's not following me, right? What are you? Oh, there he, there he goes. Bro. I see you, buddy. I see you. You're... Why are you playing with all them drawers? Oh, this guy thinks he's slick, bro. Chris then goes about his business, indicating that his direct approach to confronting the stalker was successful. This woman recorded a disturbing mm. video online of a total stranger looking through her door's peephole attempting to see inside her apartment. I have a creepy stalker that followed me to Ew. my door. Ladies, make sure that you lock your doors. What the fuck he, uh, points, uh, points the camera at himself. I don't know. I mean, to just make it less inconspicuous that person he is recording, I don't know. ...of them being followed around by an aggressive driver in a black SUV on a rainy day. 
He is right on my ass. See him? He's trying to intimidate me. As you can Enjoy see, your leg. they are <laughs> following me into the right lane here. Right on my ass. They're going to be following me. Here they go. This girl was pursued by a stalker. But was saved by this caring. I mean, you could have pointed the camera at the guy, yeah. Please do not sit on the street. Guy is the same, but. Isn't it? I don't know. Hey, 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 man. Can I take your picture? Yeah, yeah, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ha! Come on. Nice. Boom. There is no oh, telling what dreadful things could have occurred if this person wasn't there to help them. That was lucky. This security camera footage shows a woman driving up to the uploader's house and stalking her. Her stalking and obsession with me is honestly terrifying. She pulls in and stops really close right next to my stairs. What the fuck? Ew. This absolute creep pulled up to this woman's house and photographed it for 20 minutes. What the fuck? Bro, he honestly looks like a fucking disco mod. <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> like a stereotypical weird disco mod. Taking weird pictures on you, right? Now he feels weird. boyfriend went outside, the man stopped what he was doing and pretended to be on the phone with someone, which was obviously not what was happening. This YouTube uploader writes, I was scootering for Cole and Alex when I was followed around by a weird man in a normal vehicle. A little freaked out, anyway. This thing is eight tenths of a mile. That's weird. That guy's holding his hand out at me. Oh frick. Let's go, let's go, let's go. It does look like he does, yeah, look quick back and forth. So, yeah. Oh boy. I can't see shit. Get a car behind us. Put the GoPro back on. Freak. This is scary. Oh yeah, that's the car. I think I think I saw it.
think we're clear. I think we're clear. You will see me at summer school tomorrow, hopefully. Oh, frick. Oh, I'm in this. The uploader thinks that maybe the man was just trying to ask for direction somewhere, or trying to find his missing dog or something. Oh. But I'm not too sure about that. A pickup truck is trailed by a car with no headlights in this heart pounding video. Oh boy. Yeah, okay, that's a bit, uh. This YouTuber was able to capture the face of this gang stalker who attempted to enter their parked car. This man just opened the, opened the car door, bro. This man just opened the car door, bro, and then said he was looking for something. This nigga is an agent, bro. This nigga right here is an agent, bro. On oh, phone him, he is an agent. He just came and opened our car door, bro, and said he was looking for something. That nigga is an agent. On oh, phone him, you is. He an agent, bro. On oh, phone him, he is. The uploader claims that he was able to beat up the guy for what he did, but he managed to hold his calm. Late one night, hmm. a woman named Ara on TikTok became suspicious that she was being followed by a strange man. She went inside this coffee shop and lingered for around five minutes after she confirmed that he was following her. He began following her again after noticing she had left. He's been following me for 10 minutes now. When I confirmed that he was following me, I went inside Mega Coffee and stayed there for like five minutes. And when he noticed that I went out, he followed me again until I caught him on the vid for a while. <laughs> Fortunately, Barbara was able to escape this scenario unscathed, though we don't know what became of the stalker. This oh doorbell boy. camera video depicts a strange man approaching the uploader's front door and placing a piece of paper there. What the fuck? hurriedly knocks on the door before leaving and the video abruptly ends. What could this man possibly want? The That's following video fucking was weird. To TikTok by a woman named Lala and it depicts a creepy stalker seen near her house putting a garbage bag inside her car for some unexplained reason. What? So right here he had already gotten the first trash bag and he puts it next to my car. If you guys look closely by the gate you guys can see like his shadow. Um, right there, he had placed the, um, the trash bag on the floor and he, like, busted it open. I don't know what he was doing, but that's my car right in front. And then, um, towards the ending of the video, you can clearly see when he walks back, grabs the second bag of trash, and just throws it into the little garden that the apartments have right there. No, I've never seen this guy in my life. Um, my husband was thinking that maybe this is the same guy who chased me. I'm not sure, because I didn't get to see this guy's face in this clip, but... Yeah, so there it is. I also showed the police this, but there's nothing they can do. What Tiffany the fuck? uploaded this TikTok video in February of 2022. In the video, two cars seemed out of place in her area. You can see me uh, watching them and stuff. Hmm. I don't think they saw my husband's uh, been the Went down there by my car when they passed. Hmm. They pull up and stop her, uh, and as soon as they uh, noticed I was, I wasn't alone, uh, and saw my the husband crash down. To be oh. up to no good, but they call it quits oh, when they God. noticed the woman's husband was in the driveway with her at the time. What were they planning? Yeah, 100% human trafficking. Trying to film a few fun TikTok videos in her bedroom, 
when she noticed two guys staring at her from outside her window. Brookie captured this video of the two creeps going away. This simply goes to show you that sometimes not even our homes are private. Ew. Stay tuned for our number one pick that will shock you. This woman claims okay. that this man attempted to stop her from crossing the street with his car. This caused the uploader to move a little quicker, at which point he exited his friend's car and followed her around. Thankfully, the woman was able to escape unharmed. Thank Thanks fuck. for watching. Stay vigilant, friends. Hmm. Okay, let's Thanks watch for watching. this one. CCTV evidence from the murder of Shane Whitley was released by detectives what? from the North Ireland Major Investigation Unit. Oh god. Oh, hi. Boy. <laughs> oh, hi there. The 39-year-old father of four was discovered in a park in Lurgan on Thursday, January 12th, and was later pronounced dead. Jesus. When you leave your house to enjoy a fancy restaurant, you're probably not thinking about stalkers or follow-home robberies. It's terrifying to realize that your nice area, restaurants, and affluence won't save you from these criminals. The man in the video sees his world turned upside down when two men stalk him from a restaurant. His face has been blurred for anonymity. When he gets to his door, these two males in black and green hoodies come into sight. Oh boy. They have been waiting for the right opportunity to carry out their nefarious schemes. Fortunately, they failed miserably. Thank fuck. <laughs> this video captures the moment Prince Williams lashes out at a paparazzi photographer for following him and his family around, which, as one might expect, made him feel rather uncomfortable. You can have this altercation. Here's just a lot of people kept on asking uh, yeah, no, no, I just realized who it was and I for the video. Was that right, you're looking for us. Don't I was actually... Did you see these guys that bust around her across the street? No, I didn't. I haven't been near the house. I've not been... I promise you I've not been near your house. I've not been away. Yes, you are. How dare you behave like you've done my children? How I dare have you? Not. I have not you done anything. You are stalking around here looking for us and our children. I went for a I'm quiet walk. bike ride with my children That's on a Saturday. Fine. That's fine. And you won't give me your name. You're outrageous. You're disgusting. You really are. How dare you behave like that? And you knew we were coming down here. I didn't know you were coming down here, did I? So where have you come from? I've just walked up from Washington. I've just so why are you here? Yeah, I need you here, Murph. I've had an altercation with a photographer. He's filming me as I'm, as I'm right next to him now. I'm coming down the, um, I'm coming down the... Uh, Fourth. Thank you for ruining our day. 
I moved out of the way so you could get past. I did. As soon as I saw you, I moved. I moved into the tower. Thought you guys had learned by now. In August of 2021, Stephen Brenlin uploaded this TikTok video, showing this extremely creepy stalker who he claims had pursued him for several weeks. Do you see that? Do you see that? On the phone as well. And how can I be making this up? Bruh. What? No. 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 Oh my gosh, hang up. So guys, I am not making this up. Do you see that figure? I'm not making this up. Okay? He followed him Bruh. around while pretending to be on the phone with someone, so he doesn't appear to be a stalker. Obviously, no one believed it. In a gas station, a terrified woman flees her alleged kidnapper. Oh He's boy. following her as she dashes inside the convenience store, slammed the door, and quickly deadbolted. her. Oh, Jesus. Oh, that Taking is... her bare feet and shorts. The heart-stopping escape occurred at a New Jersey gas station following what investigators describe as a year-long nightmare. Jamie oh, wow. Burgess, a gas station employee, observed her escape. The suspect, James Perillo, 47, fled on a bike but was apprehended two miles away. The woman informed officials that she met Perillo in New Mexico in February 2021 and established a relationship with him. She wanted to leave after a month, and that's when he allegedly began holding her against her will. She said he oh, grabbed fuck. her money and credit card and they traveled across the country, arriving in New Jersey in December. Bobby Madan, the owner of the gas station, said that she had been at the store days earlier planning her escape. She got away, she just saw the opportunity and ran. Authorities in New Jersey believe Perillo is a serial predator. Backpacker Magazine oh, stated in 2019 that Perillo was scouring California hiking trails for potential victims. Two women said Brillo imprisoned them for more than a year. Jesus. In incidents, he was not charged. What? At the very least, this woman is finally free. Yeah, but this fuck. This decided to record himself after being stalked by his ex. Oh, oh God. God. Where I go? What's all about? I'm not. You're doing it now? I'll tell you what, I'm never going to Tinder again after this. Oh, guys. Um... Look, I need some video evidence of what's going on, right? So I'm on, uh, I'm on my break at work, and I come out of the building, and guess who's behind me? She's stalking me. Can you see her? I tell you what, I'm never going to Tinder again I... after this. I can see she her. She follows me everywhere I go. I see her, yeah. It's a bit weird, man. It's, do you know what? I didn't mind it at first. It was quite funny. But now, uh, do you know what? I go around this corner, see if she follows me. <laughs> After he followed her home in broad daylight, Jasmine decided to record the strange man with her phone. You're not following me. Go home. Go home then. Go home then. If you're not following me, go. Leave. Because you're not leaving me alone. You just tried to follow me home. Walk to your house then. No, I don't want you to see where I live. Leave. Go. I don't Listen, you can either leave or I can call the police and tell them that you're trying to follow me. Leave then. Yeah? This man tried to follow me home. Across the road there. Oh boy. Believe, Flo and Matt Icky. Were having fun when they were stalked by a suspicious man. Walk out without you. Someone has been behind us since the restaurant. I, I just want to get back to the house. Let's walk fast. Yeah, yeah. Can you, can you see him? I'm not even kidding. I think I'm about to get into a fist fight. Fortunately, they were unharmed. Thanks, Fox. This person summoned the confidence to face their stalker and tell them to never bother them again. I don't know who you are. I don't know who you are. All right. 
there. According to the post description, the cops arrived shortly after and handled the situation. God. This man confronts a gang stalker, completely unafraid of him. Where did I pull out? This car waiting right here for me. This vehicle is also a gang stalker. Oh They're boy. waiting for me to go somewhere so that they can make their move. What are they doing there? Why are they waiting there? It's illegal to wait for someone at a point and observe them and wait for them to leave. Does this guy not know that? Oh boy. What's up, man? Have I seen you before, dude? Maybe. At Stingers, maybe. Stingers? Yeah. Really? How do you know I go to Stingers? Because I go to Stingers. Okay. That's interesting. Yeah, what's up? No more Love Stingers. Yeah, it sucks. <coughs> yeah. Yeah, you have a great night, dude. What's up? Have a great night. You too, man. The stalker claims to know the uploader from a pub he only visited twice uh, in the past pub. five years. Oh, wow. You see how that dude instantly, like, that, that was interesting. That requires analysis right there. Okay. The dude didn't seem concerned that I was rolling up to him as a complete stranger, asking him, like, do I know you? And immediately, he fucking does. The guy does know me. Yeah, that's weird. Ew. <laughs> the guy does know me. Okay? So, like, these people, what are the fucking odds of that shit? It rolls off his mouth the second I fucking say it? See, a lot of times even my mind is blown when I get when I find out you know how they're reacting to shit. That was uh huh. it was very interesting. And he instantly tries to change the subject. Oh hey, what's up? What's going on? First of all, Stingers, dude, I've been to Stingers fucking twice in my life. Literally twice in my life. Jesus. I was thinking about going there like two weekends ago on a Saturday night, so I put it in my phone. Last weekend I was thinking about going there, so I put stingers in my phone to see how far away from us. I didn't end up going. These people, they track you, they find out everything about your life, and they use it against you. I rolled up on that dude out of nowhere, and what are the odds? He knows me. Sounds kind of sketchy. Ew. A Mesa woman was robbed at gunpoint from just outside her driveway, and authorities are now looking for the perpetrator. To say the least, oh it was boy. a terrible experience, but Claudette Jones is one brave 84-year-old woman. Oh boy, yeah, that's scary. Jesus. Wow, what a bastard. A 
lady and her two children were leaving the post office when they noticed a vehicle was following them. Ew. Her home security camera captured what happened when she arrived home and parked her car. The mother stops her car in front of the house, gets out, and begins to pull her children out of the car. The car that had followed her home from the post office pulls up next to her and parks in the street. A man emerges and rushes towards her. He threatens her and her children, oh, and she offers fuck. him money and her watch. The robber re-enters his car and drives away. Fortunately, a witness was able to obtain the vehicle's license plate and reported it to the authorities. Thank fuck. The man and another suspect were apprehended by police. Authorities suspect that they were responsible for a number of follow-home robberies in the area. This wild peeping Tom was recorded by this homeowner's backyard security cameras at night. Oh boy. Ew. Kate recorded this video of her stalker, Tom. Allegedly, he would harass her at a gazebo during her breaks. Uh. He allegedly made sexual remarks at her, threatened to kidnap her, and told her he had a gun on him. Oh, she stated God. that she stopped going to the gazebo in the fall and returned in the winter because he wasn't there. However, he started to return once it got warm. Oh, God. She claims that she leaves when she sees him approaching. Him waving like, out uh. she's up to, so he now drives over to her place instead. This appears to happen several times per day. Kate claims she spoke with other residents in her neighborhood and that individuals have already reported him to the police. What a bizarre individual! Imagine yourself in a nice restaurant, enjoying a fantastic meal, only to discover that someone has been staring at you the entire time. All right, so just really quick, I think I'm being watched. I think I'm being watched. Watch, look, look, look. Ah, <laughs> uh, what the fuck? What do you do? Stay tuned for our number one pick that will shock you. Jessica Rodriguez claims that she arrived home from work around 10:20 p.m. She was eating in her room when she noticed headlights in front of her window. She looked out the window and saw that her stalker had returned for the fourth time. Oh, God. She stated that she attempted to record the stalker's license plate, but the car didn't have one. She finds oh, this strange God. because in Texas, where the video was shot, it is required by law to have a front license plate. The next segment of the video shows her confronting the stalker. <laughs> Yo estoy trabajando, por favor. Mira, me voy a ir. 
Pero yo no, no le ando haciendo daño a nadie. Por favor. Pero tiene que sostener usted que yo lo he mirado varias veces con si mi usted hijo. Si usted tiene pruebas pruebas de mí, está bien. Pero ahorita yo aquí me encontró. Thanks for watching. Stay vigilant, friends. Uh, the, these dudes are just so weird. God, oh my god. <laughs> oh boy. Man, am I happy not to have ever so far encountered a situation where I've been stalked. That's good. Uh... Let's see, what can we watch now? Again, if any of you have uh, something uh, interesting you think uh, we could watch, just be sure to uh, uh, write it uh, in the chat if you want to. Suggest it in chat. Uh... We could watch. This one I want to see. That's car. It is a car. Is there we go. Uh, yeah, there we go. Oh God! Watch out! Oh no! No! Bloody no. hell! Bro. What the fucking idiot, holy fuck. Oh boy. Well, that sucks. Oh, what the fuck? Jesus. After the death of Indiana Republican Congresswoman Jackie Walorski, she was killed along with two staffers and another person in a two-car crash in her district. Indiana Attorney General Todd Rokita got to know her well oh when she was a state... Le Bro. Why do people do that? I don't... Mm. <clears throat> Electrician killed in Las Vegas. Oh boy. Jesus Christ, dude. Well, there I go. Oh boy, what's... Oh, yeah, he's going... Oh boy. Oh fuck! Oh, goodbye. Oh, God. Buddy, buddy, buddy. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. What? What the fuck I bro 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 Oh goodbye Oh boy, it was lucky they didn't hit the house, they were really fucking close, oh god. Oh my! Goodbye! Oh my god. Bro. 
brother. Are you... It was red, you fucking dingus. Oh my god. Bro. You... You can't be serious. They just wanted to... Make carnage. That fucking idiot. Holy fuck. Bro. Wrong way, you fucker. Whoa. Basically, what, what you're gonna get. You <laughs> bastard. Yeah. Sorry about that. Oh. You okay? Whoa. Basically, what, what you're gonna get. <laughs> you yeah. bastard. Oh boy. Oh. Uh, that's what you get for driving over red, you f fucking idiot. Bro. Oh Jesus. Bro, bro, what a stop driving! Oh my god. You think they would stop if they fucking hit? It, like on the impact, but they fucking didn't. Oh my! Oh god! Oh boy! Jesus! Bro! Ha! Deserved. Fucking idiot, oh my god. Oh no. They, they didn't even bring it back, are you? Well, fuck. Too many eggs in one basket is sad all the way around. Too I, when many I, eggs in one basket. All, always sad. When I see some guy oh boy. and he's got his 64 Mustang notch back and he's like, I got this fresh out of the military. It's been 57 years. This is my baby. And you're like, you're looking at an $8,000 car that this guy's built his entire yeah. life around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Paper and he's invested in the paper. Every dollar of profit that the paper makes is plowed back into the Oh, fuck! Oh, miren, accidente, 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 accidente. But he still has allowed the post to be a accident, tired accident, accident, accident. of the newsroom. He reversed what the building atmosphere of sort of... Oh, Jesus. No, 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 no! Mm. <clears throat> Fucking idiot, oh my god. Bro. <laughs> oh boy. <clears throat> yeah.
let's just tell us something else we could watch. Uh, that's also been a while. Let's also watch some Karens. Ooh, excuse me. Yeah. We all know entitled Karens can be a real pain in the butt, but these ladies take it to a whole new level. From complaining about their food to throwing a fit in the middle of a store, these Karens will make you cringe and laugh at the same time. So sit back, relax, and let's take a journey through the world of entitled Karens. This male oh Karen had a bright idea to show up at someone's doorstep unannounced with a gift. Thank goodness no one answered, or else we oh might boy, have had yep. a full-blown meltdown on our hands. What what does he have in his hand? We're in full raid, yep. Wait, is that a gun? Hi. Please wait. It may take me a moment to answer. See me? Better f remember my face when I this door before I break this down. I'll break this down. Throw your it is a fucking gun. What the hell? Answer that door. What the hell? Oh my god. Looks like Karen took one man's trash as another man's treasure a little too literally. Time to face the consequences of her thievery. Bitch, you came here to steal everything. Yeah, you did. Look at my, look at your truck. This is everything that came out of my fucking house. I work, I don't, look, I'm, this, no, this is my drill. How do you know someone, uh, These are my sandals. Uh, as if they, uh, show up with a gun. Yeah. No. You, so where was you taking it to? I mean, Found someone trying to steal shit out of my fucking house. I should beat her, goofy. Look at her. Just pulled up here and both these crackheads trying to steal all my Yeah, I can tell. You got me up. Bro. Trying to pack up all my shit out of my house. Goodwill, my mother ass. You was about to sell it. You was about to sell it. I just bought all that. You you bought this? You bought this. You're a damn liar. I, I bet that notebook has my f***ing name in it. I'm not talking about that. Exactly. You you literally took my hair bag, my ramen. Look, she even packed up my ramen noodles, my perfume. Fucking no, Detroit moment. Holy fuck. Because <laughs> I'm ready to beat somebody's <laughs> No, you can finish getting my s*** out of here before I beat you up. I know you do not want me to beat your ass. Can you get the rest of my out of your car? This is insane, I'm telling you. Insane. Bro. You know damn well you didn't get this from the Goodwill. I did call the cops. No, there ain't no apologizing because you was about to take what me and my daughter had oh, left like, yeah. so you could get high. So you could get high. Yeah, you do. What other? You got to be high to come and do some like this. No, no. When in doubt, just claim everything is yours, right, Karen? Well, I guess Karen's definition of property is a bit blurry. Just like her vision when it you comes know, to I have a certain amount of uh, patience uh, oh, wow. for those kind of people the same. Already wasted it all, here. yeah. And you're touching my property. Vivi, get in the car. No. Vivi, get in the car. Well, look, come on, get out of my house, Aaron. You, you live right here? Dad, they're right. No, I didn't. You're going to get out and do something, or are you just going to always talk s***? 
Are you? You scared little b I'm here. You hear that, baby? I know. I'm here. Yeah, go ahead. Baby, get in the car. You're making my son cry. Baby, come on. Get in the car. Pull up on my house again. Get in the car. We'll see you tomorrow. No, you won't. I'm getting a restraining order on For you. For what? You being at my house? You, we're, you live right here, and we Why are you right here? here. Shut my door. Do you know my boss? What do you think yeah. I have to do with you, dude? Erin, rip your lashes off. They don't come off. Oh. Sorry, use child support to pay for that. Look at that. Or is that free with Section 8? I don't live on Section 8. Low income? What is it that they call it? Nothing. That? And you're living off of a foreclosed home. Off of a registered nurse's license. Yeah. Me. While right. you collect uh, SSI checks from your baby dad. So the <laughs> reason that they don't get to stay is because what? It is court order that Edgar has to be there for pickup. Are you that thirsty, honey? No. <laughs> Court ordered. You know what a f court order is? A the court order. Javier doesn't stay. When Karen says community service, she really means stealing mail from the postal service and acting like it's no big deal. Just another day in the life of a neighborhood vigilante. Bruh. Step away from me. If she, Step has, up. if she has my mail, it's illegal. And it's illegal for you to open oh. somebody else's mail. Um, I need to know if any of that's mine. I'm gonna go through it right now. Oh, I'm talking I'm to the postmaster. All of it? I still believe so. Okay, I just need to make sure that it's all under our law system. Yeah. Yeah. So I just picked up his mail and they've had it. A Karen in the parking lot accusing someone of parking too close what? to her car, when in reality, she's the one who can't park her car without crossing the line. Uh, it's always someone no, else's fault, isn't again. it? <laughs> I can't my car. My daughter has to get in. You, you, yeah, you, 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 you heard me. Do you, when you open that door, does you she do this a lot? Car. Is she okay? No, she's fine. That car is parked too close to her car. Do you see your tire? You Let's get serious. Tire. Let's get serious. You see the line that you separates these? Tire. Now come over here. Come over here. Come on. This is just for fun. This is just for fun. No, come here. Look. Just for fun. Look. And then look at this. You're, you need to stay within the line. He, they are. Look, 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 I'm perfectly between the lines. Look, oh, I'm actually hugging this side a little too much. Yeah. Bro. Pero estás loca. You. Oh. You. En español, por favor. Don't call women crazy. You're crazy. Then don't be crazy, you fucking crazy, oh, <laughs> fucking bitch! Oh like my that. god! You're not happy, man. I'm. You're an old fart. I am. You're too old to be driving a car like that. It's too I'm, big for you. I'm in disbelief. Pecker. Yeah, I bet you are. I, you're looking, you drive this, like this it. This is something You drive original. like it, you little tiny pecker. This is So you original. need that. That's your. That is your. D isn't it? No. Is she really talking old, about his dick being small? Are you serious? Can't get it up. Viagra, my. You stupid. Now you're getting off fighting with a woman? No, I'm, I'm not fighting. You're getting fighting. off fighting with a woman, you I'm, little picker? I'm not fighting so at all. She is on, man, fucking insane. Down, what the fuck? fuck? I'm, that's that's God, threatening, God. but it's not. It's, I'm just... Yeah. It didn't last one and a half hours. Oh, boy. When you see a Karen manager, you know you're in for a good time. Refusing a return oh, with a receipt. Uh, check. Screaming. He lasted, uh, check. Three this is why hours. we can't have nice things. How am I harassing you? Oh, I came uh, in. Three and a half, Karen. But you're a manager. How can Karen you video, not answer it? Videos, uh, last of one and a half. Oh, boy. Why does that matter? You have to come to your job and do the same thing you do. I work at a school. Okay. That is fine. I came in and asked you. It says online that you return the policy. I'm not saying nothing else. Shut up. Don't, I, it's all right, because I got it all on video just now. Good, I got it all on video. Will you leave before I call the police? Call the police. I came in and asked about a return policy because I have a receipt, and it says online that you return phones within 30 days. The phone was purchased at this store. So do what you got to do if you want to call the police because it's all being recorded.
You got the right one. You I promise. Right I prom You're a manager, right? What's your name? Erica. Erica what? Cause you fixing to be Facebook famous, baby. You you ain't acting professional. Dollar oh, General Facebook. is not gonna oh, like boy. how you're handling a customer with a receipt. It's okay, cause you ain't gonna have your job much longer. This Karen is like a dog with a bone, refusing to let go of her belief that this poor customer is a thief. Nothing can shake her conviction, not even hard evidence or common sense. Bro. Make sure you watch the camera before you came to get me. Well, we did, but I wanted so to. So did you see me steal it? So I did. You and what, oh, you, you did see me. Okay, let's go then. Okay, well, let's go. No, no, I'm just no. no I'm you not. just said you see me steal it, so let's I, I go. No, no, you no. said yes. I got it on camera. Let's go. I'm like, I didn't see you put it back. I just want to see where you put it for us. I thought. And then you had this mean <laughs> follow me in this store. So let's see how dumb you look. Bro. And I'm a fucking nurse. You I'm think I'm gonna see it? No, I'm an ER nurse, bitch. You just came in that store, so let's go. Steal a staff jar? Are you dumb? Yeah. Are you fing dumb? Well, so hold on, hold on. No, it's fing right here. Let's go. Are you fing dumb? It looks like we have a real drama queen on our hands here. This Karen is making a scene in the airport, throwing a tantrum like a spoiled child. Oh no. I can do whatever I want to do. I can. I have a master's in communication. All the movies you're watching, all the movies you're watching, I do the PR for it, Jessica. So you probably want to calm down and pipe down and go take you some meth because you look like a meth head. That's why you mad because you can't get off of work and smoke your drugs. Excuse me, children. I can record whatever I want. I got a master's. I know the law. You a clerk. You probably don't even know how to speak. Well, you must have cheated then because you are clearly completely dumb. Fucking I'm hell. This to the president of American Airlines and all the board of directors, Jessica. Since this lady in a spinal fusion ain't gonna get no help, Jessica, call the police, Jessica, so they can arrest a black woman over recording, Jessica, with your white privilege, Jessica, your fat. Uh. Now call the police. I'm about to call the police, actually. Looks like we've got a Karen who just can't accept that she's not welcome in the store. Maybe she thinks if she throws a big enough tantrum, they'll change their minds and let her back in. Newsflash, Karen, it's not gonna happen. No, you're not. You're not going back in Try the again, store. Try again, little girl, but uh, she's gonna get it. You're not wait. allowed back in the store. I'm gonna need for you to fucking move. I'm gonna need for you to leave. I'm gonna need for you to leave. I'm gonna need for you to leave. Can you go get her stuff for her? Where is it? Where is it? I don't know. You dropped that. Your mama. Your mama. Look well, at you, you standing like this, bitch. For real. Let me suck that. Cross that. Cross that. Cross that. Cross that. Cross that. Bye. You want to roll that. Leave. But kids older than me. Leave. They're not older than me. They're not older than me. What's wrong with you? I have a second roll. Hey, you pull it. Leave. Leave. You're grown. Leave. I'm like a woman. Leave. You're grown as well. Leave. You fucking fat fuck. Oh my god. I'm gonna need you to leave. 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 I'm sitting right here, babe. Leave. Don't touch it. This guy must have thought he was playing a game of Tetris, trying to fit as many items as he could into his bag without getting caught. Well, he didn't quite get the high score he was hoping for. I told you I said you did. You did. You did. You did. Open the other part right now. Bruh. Open the other part real fast. Is that chicken? Are those actual chicken wings? Open it up. Yeah, open it up. Take all that out. Take all that out. Take it out the bag, sir. You put it in the bag. Come on. Snickers steak? Oh my. Holy. Oh my God. Man, I tried to ring up a banana. Hey, man, you shit, man. Come on. Take it all out, man. Come on. Pull it all out. All up, bro. Come on. Oh Jesus God. Christ. Thank you. Damn. That 
is impressive. Oh, Fucking oh, hell. Oh, what? Ah, uh, the hero we deserve. This brave girl stood up to Karen the manager and put her in her place. Maybe Karen will think twice before trying to throw her weight around next time. You know things have gotten bad Bruh. when a Karen teams up with a Karen cop. They're laughing and ganging up on a guy who's just trying to mind his own business in his no. backyard. Oh, Hilarious. No. So keep on talking. You have no business here. Am I breaking any laws? That's right. Now I'm going to keep on. Your property line is over there. I can show it to you again. Come here. No, you don't. It belongs to me. Legally, I couldn't put this on the property line. I think you probably you did. Illegally anyway. Why would I do stuff illegal? Because you are you you, you committed me a crime? No, you seriously. A I'm not gonna. I'm get an in idiot. There. You're an idiot. I'm not gonna get in there with this guy. You're making a f spectacle out of yourself. I'm, you're the one who like call the cops, and you're here. You're calling me an idiot. No, I'm calling you an idiot. And you you I do illegal. Sh Fuck he did. I'm, I'm, a, I'm an idiot because I'm doing stuff on my property. How much no. have you, what, what, what have you been doing lately? Working, making money, making millions. Let me see your eyes. You expect me a crime? Let me see your eyes. Take your sunglasses off. Let me see your eyes. What are you suspecting me of? Let me see your eyes. Let me see your eyes. Are they dilated? Mine are good to go. Good to go? I don't know. You've what done more drugs in your life than I have. You don't remember. I do know you as a kid, right? All right, Scott. If that's how, what you want. Some people you grow out of it, and then some people never grow out of anything. Oh, anything. That's why Except you came to... stupidity. Oh, stupidity. That's why you're here bitching about this, and I'm just here living my life. You, no, you <laughs> haven't been living your life here, dude. You've been living your life in West Point. Really? Because I don't even live in West Point. Well, where no. How do you... Why, why do you think you know here. me? I know it's not here. But the dude who owns this place. Oh, the Karen, uh, the cop is the who Karen too. Place? She you is. Sadly. Uh, no different than your place. I mean, we could look. I mean, I mean, it's no different than the place right there where you live. I mean, you even got a car illegally parked. Yep. You got that car illegally parked. You think being a law officer, you wouldn't have a car legally parked on your property. Wanna keep on going? No, you you've said it. You guys have a great day. Okay. You have a good you're dismissed. Well, you're dismissed. So who's walking away? Well, Sketches Walking away. Come on now. You know yeah. me better than that. Okay, it's over. Anyway. If you enjoyed this video, show some love oh, by dear. subscribing and checking out our other Karen videos. I don't know, if you've done more drugs in your life than I have. <clears throat> yeah, Karen videos. Karen's are just the cancer of the world. God damn. Hmm. This looks interesting. Uh, Karen Freaker 
uh, worst Karens of all time drive through edition. Have you ever worked in the fast food industry? If so, you know that dealing <clears throat> with entitled customers can be a real challenge. And it seems like the drive through is where the Karens really come out to play. So today, we're counting down the top 20 worst Karens of all time. drive through edition. Starting things off strong, we have the notorious Karen on wheels, dubbed online as Mobility Mary. This time, she's <laughs> taken her scooter through a fast food drive through and started an argument with a customer. Why? Because she thinks he almost ran her over. You can't make this stuff up. Let's see what kind of trouble Mobility Mary has gotten herself into now. Mobility Mary. <laughs> Sir? Hello? Hello? You almost hit me. You made a totally oh God, illegal move. Away from me. Man, are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. There's no almost in life. I did not hit you. I said you almost There's hit no me. Almost you made an illegal Get the off the street with that thing. You're in the street. It's not a car. That's not a car. It's I a disability it. mobility. Don't go away. Looks like this customer didn't get the Happy Meal she was hoping for. In fact, she's so unhappy that she's about to get into a McFight with a McDonald's employee. Oh boy. It's 2005 here. What? You got a number? You can text me for the Addy. You can take me, right? You can take me, right? Yes, hon, you don't scare me. You don't scare me, sis. You do not scare me. Come inside. Oh, unlock the door! Unlock the door! Come on. Oh my god. She can get out. I think it's fair to say that these two embarrassed oh young women won't be taking their mother Karen to a drive through ever again. Oh no. It's a tale as old as oh time, boy. a customer forgetting to wear their face mask in a public space. But when a young fast food worker reminds this customer of the rules, things quickly take a turn. This Karen snaps and gets serious with the employee, leaving them in a tough spot. Bro. Uh, yeah, next time, put a mask on. Whoa. <laughs> you still, you, even though you're in the drive-thru, you're still really close to me, so. Uh, like to... You maintain your six foot. I'm in my vehicle. Okay. Okay. Just put a mask on. Still does move over, not. Karen. There's a new sheriff in town. This guy takes the cake for the ultimate Karen move when he smashes the drive through window. Give me my card. Oh boy, Jeremy Johnson. I, you, I ain't the one. Bring your punk out here. I, you, you think I'm worried about you? You don't know who the fuck I am. Give me my card, dude. You and your bullshit talk. Give me my card, punk. No, I'm not. I come. I drove back now. I'm, I ain't coming back again. Get someone else, dude. Then give me my mother card. You the GM? You ain't gonna give me my card. I gave you a name, you lying mother. You didn't ask me for an ID. Oh boy. Mother. Give me my mother card. Jesus. Now, who In a classic Karen move, oh this boy. woman is demanding to speak to the manager. But when the worker refuses, Karen pulls out her phone and calls her mom. Yep, you heard that right. Bro. But wait, things get even more interesting when the employee throws Karen's drink right in her face. The real question is, was it justified? Comment those down people below keep what you complaining think. about people not being mature, yet she's calling her mom over fast food. Fucking hell. You pronounce it number one? Your mom don't care how I talk to you. She not gonna do nothing. What do you mean she don't care how I talk to you? She talks. You better get her. You better. You better do it right now. I'm gonna watch you do it right now because that is a bullshit. Uh, 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 what? Don't talk to me like that. I talk to you however I want. You gonna talk to me how you want? Yeah. Are you? Do you hear that? Kid, it's ready. Yeah. Yeah. Get out my drafting kit. Just poured a 
have water on me. Don't try and play me. Welcome to Dunkin' well, Donuts. You did the, the fucking same, you fucking dickhead. Episode, oh my we have god. A disgruntled customer who just won't quit, causing chaos in the drive through line. After being asked to leave, this customer decides to take a stand and refuses to budge. Pick up through the drive through not at the front of your store. No, I, I no, I understand that, but there's no one behind us. If there's somebody behind us, we would pull up. There's no one behind us, and I already spoke to your DM, and he already said we don't have to pull up. And I'm going to let's say I'm going to get her. No problem, Drake. Thank you so much for dropping by. Okay, appreciate you. Yeah, thank you. 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 I understand that. I know. I know. I know. I know how y'all's policies work. We will pull you call your boss. Front. Call your district manager. I'm not anybody. Call your district manager. You call. Go to the front. No, ma'am. Call, call the police on what? I will because you won't move out. You, my you, you're gonna lose your job. I hope you know that. Okay, well, go ahead. You re you really want to lose your job? Hey, do what you gotta do. If you think you can control me having a job, then you go ahead. Okay. We've all been there, trying to order through the speaker box with kids in the car. But in this clip, things take a turn for the worse when an entitled worker refuses to serve a frustrated woman because her child is making noise in the car. It's like they've never Bruh. heard of the term terrible twos. Let's see how this interaction plays out. So you are going to refuse to take my order because my child was screaming? Yes, I have the right to do that. If you're more than welcome to come inside or you can place an order online and we'll make it for you. And what is really like... You're gonna not take my order. Yes, ma'am. That is what I'm saying. Okay. All right. Well, I do have this on video, and I will be emailing corporate because that's just like completely rude. I okay. cannot come inside because my daughter does not have shoes on. Do you understand that? No, ma'am. I understand, but you're also more than welcome to order through uh, online as well. So you want me to take an extra 20 minutes and order online? Uh. That's not convenient to me. It's your job to take orders and stuff, and this is ridiculous. Bro. So I'd like you to take my order, please. Okay, I will be happy to take your order as long as your daughter is in the all right? I think that's a pretty good decision on your part. Okay, I don't need this attitude. Here's an aggressive Karen wow. who holds up the entire line by getting out of her vehicle and making threats towards the young employees. But these workers mm. aren't backing down and they're ready to bite back. Come on. What's up? What's up? What's up? You want to keep her in your That's right. I'm about to call the police on you. I'm about to call the police on you. Because I am. Because this is ridiculous. Bye. Bye. What's your name? What's up? Oh, God. <laughs> Crazy D, this is she about to go to jail, D. Bro, that bitch is hundred percent on something. Holy oh, fuck! Oh, she about to go to, dude. She about to go to jail. What happens when a Karen gets clowned on by a car full of people for being a Karen towards the employees? Pure comedy gold. Kid. And I have it's a Karen. It's a Karen. <laughs> I got a Karen. Full billionaire got a Karen. <laughs> it's not a local Karen. <laughs> I love how he's talking like, holy shit, I got this shiny Pokemon. <laughs> Look at her. She's still going. What is she doing? She on drugs? Holy fuck! I'm not pump top, bro. And I'm not playing, bro. Get the f away! Get that f away from me, bro! Jesus fuck! Like what? Get that f me, bro! It's like Karen, bro. 
I've never experienced one. He's videotaping. I don't even know what to do. That's what I'm saying. You're at McDonald's. But still, no, you can't. You have to get a percent. Oh, God. No, can't. <laughs> I want to be a, My husband will beat the f out of you. Oh, tell him to. Karen, bro, I never experienced a Karen. I'm like, I'll go viral. What do you get when you mix oh an boy. entitled Karen with a slow moving drive through line? A recipe for disaster. In yep. this clip, we have a Karen who's going off on a young employee, demanding answers for why the line isn't moving as fast as she would like. Maybe she needs to order a little patience. <laughs> What's so cold at? Uh, I'm sorry, man. We're like entirely understaffed. Okay, I, I have a meeting I'm supposed to be at. So, what, like are you time? out of some stuff? Bro, lady, if you wanted to go fast, don't go up and fucking complain, you fucking dick! Oh my god. What happens when a guy tries to defend a drive through employee from a Karen's wrath? He becomes her next target, of course. In this clip, we have a young Karen who's on a rampage, and this guy gets caught in her crosshairs after defending the employees. I bought this all cash, bro. I bought this all cash, dog. Yeah. Can I sure? What are you? I'm 28. Film major? 4 93. How old are you? How old are you? 27? Yeah, 28. Exactly. I'm a 22 year old girl. Exactly. Why are you asking like this, Joe Dirt? If a 22 year old girl is saying, get your life together, get your life together. What are you doing? <laughs> this Karen tries to use no an clue. expired coupon at the drive-thru and the worker refuses to accept it. Watch the intense argument between a frustrated drive-thru worker and a Karen who's determined to get her discount, even if it means holding up the entire line. I don't got consent. Oh, no, you're not getting my name. Now show them that. I will show them that. You think I give a f about this job? No, I don't. I'm on. Now get out my drive through holding on my line. Bye. Why? Go. You mad? It's 597. You the one it's mad. You the one mad. You mad. I ain't mad. If I knock your phone out your hand, you're going to call the police. I sure am. I know. Now I pull am. off. That's not the way you talk to people. Pull off. Is you going to pay? Then call the police. If you don't want people to talk to you I'm like that, don't phone. talk to people like that either, you fucking so bitch. Oh my phone phone. god. Then what are you doing then? What you doing? I'm, I wanted to pay for my stuff. 597. It's not 597. I have a coupon. Did you mention the coupon back there? I mentioned it. Now. Exactly. Pull off. I don't care about you recording me, bro. Go ahead. Do the same thing. Yeah, we can record each other. Cause I'm being reasonable. I don't. I don't care. Who you finna report that to? I'm sending it to your corporate office. That's who I'm sending it to. You me. being reasonable, care. my ass. Send Make sure you tell them that. Oh, bro, I don't care. Mm -hmm. You think I give a f don't you? But I don't. This job ain't doing nothing but paying a motherfucking insurance. Come on, man. This ain't nothing. This the job you chose. I didn't chose this job. Motherfucker, you motherfucker came offered in. me this job. Hey, but you I don't even it. like working. But you accepted the job. Right, I accepted. So you still chose the job. Who won to accept extra money? Pull off. Bye. Bye. Damn, you finna make me call the police and I don't even like them up at my job. Pull off. Old you, you need to work it. You need a new car. Have you ever had a bad day that made you want to lash out at everyone around you? Well, in this clip, we have a crazy Karen who takes that to a whole new level. At a drive through in Toronto, this Karen causes absolute chaos. And when the other customers start to call her out, she does the unthinkable. She throws her entire meal in someone's face. This oh, one is boy. Going to snap. Look at her. Oh, my God. Oh my god. Ma'am. <laughs> oh! Oh! Oh my god. Oh! Jesus Christ. Damn, she oh tried god. to escape. Gabe, holy On a fuck. Saturday afternoon. What a bitch. Holy. Not the fries. Oh my god, she's gonna <laughs> run you over. She is not in her right mind. 
Don't even go in front of her car. She has to be on drugs. Mm. <gasps> yeah, fucked. <laughs> Is this the same bitch um, no, for like you even have your food. a little videos ago? Uh, when she just have went on a complete rampage on the car. To crash? In this clip, two women pull into a fast food parking lot after a close call. The woman with the camera wants an apology, but I just don't think that's going to happen. Yeah, pardon me. Are you aware you almost ran me off the road? You almost ran me off the road on I-10. Were you paying any attention? You, I was in the fast lane. You forced me into the gravel section. You, you almost killed me. Yeah, you need to leave. You need to leave the desert. Who are you? I took, you almost ran me off the road on A10. Just now, just like 10 minutes ago. You don't remember, huh? You didn't even see me? No, you did not. No, you did not. You almost ran into me. That was not a safe, that was a safe change. What's your driving record? Been in many accidents? No. Really? Do you live here? I do. Well, you'll be seeing more of me and I will be reporting you to the CHP and Riverside County Sheriff. I'm not impressed. Yeah, you almost killed me. So why don't you get out of here? You can't get your food this morning. Yeah. Why don't you just try and run me over? Cause you just did. You didn't even see me. I love my life, I'm pro-life, I care about myself and my family, and you almost killed me. And you don't even care, you're not even taking any responsibility, you don't remember, you think I'm the crazy one? Because you almost ran me over. You ran, you, you literally, you didn't even see me. That's great. I don't know if that's worse that you're that dumb, are you like vaccine injured or something? Like, what's the deal? Oh, I'm conservative, sure. You're crazy okay. lip Okay. Yeah. Something tells me uh, that the no, one recording actually. is definitely the crazy one. Oh, God. Yeah, I'll do. I'll do. Great. I can stand here all No, day. not because of uh, political stuff, but, yeah, no, she I just, I don't know. Because you can take responsibility for your actions out there on the road. Pardon me? I'm sorry you feel that way. Uh, I'm sorry you are that way. Mostly because of the whole, like, yeah. Max thing when she said that yes, then I know she is definitely crazy. You're crazy one. She almost ran me over. No, she's not getting her food today. Yeah, that's what's up. It's gonna have you go park in the front. Yeah, go park in the front. Yeah. Pardon me? I don't think you're going to. I hope not. I don't have to do anything. You have to take responsibility for your actions. Starbucks 50 years. Oh, I see. You are vaccine injured. Oh, poor baby. In this clip, mm. a Karen is caught on camera belittling and harassing drive through workers. But things take a turn when she realizes another customer is recording her. Watch as he becomes her next target. Look, she's tripping. Look. <laughs> Man, get your nappy head ass off somewhere. Bruh. <laughs> or get my money back. Hey. Give me my shit back. Give oh. me my money back. Man, you can't be talking about that. I don't give a f <laughs> they got me reporting me. Man, you making me late for work. Uh, they yeah. making me late because I just paid for my money. Man, you better just. I'll be grabbing my phone, okay, girl. Okay, don't be f reporting me. Shit, you better get your f tone then. Man, who you think you talking to? Look, Erica, about to do your hair. You talking about, uh, yeah, I'm about yeah. to do that too. <laughs> you better talk to me. You gotta chill. I got a whole got in my motherfucker. I don't give a f. Man, you better talk to me. <laughs> man, you better go for our right. elbow, boy. Right. Right. I really don't. I'm crazy. Go. <laughs> 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 ah, she mad. She mad. Get your teeny tiny looking at me. Call the police. Call the police. Call the police. Bro, lady, you do realize what you're doing right now is assault, right? <laughs> You literally have nothing against him. Like, you literally... Man. And now you're breaking entering. <laughs> or whatever this is called. Uh, I suppose it's definitely the same with cars. What an idiot. Holy fuck.
Cutting in line? <laughs> Not on my watch. This drive through drama heats up as one woman tries to skip the queue, but other customers aren't having it. Find out what happens next. You guys are crazy. What's wrong with you? She was here first. Look, she's swearing at everything. Look. What are you guys doing? This lady was here first, and you're swearing in, fr in front of kids and everything? Bro. Show some class, ladies. Show some class. Don't That's very child. nice. Don't you have a child in the car? Yeah, and I'm showing them what people are, like you are doing. It's wrong. Wow, look at that. Look at that. So you guys could easily back up now. Someone even told you. Don't worry, we're gonna post this on YouTube so everybody could see. <laughs> wow. Wow, uh, unbelievable. No respect at all. Yeah, I don't. I don't see why people just keep doubling down and shit like this. Holy fuck. I'm gonna video to you. Wow, look at this little. Look at this lack of respect. <laughs> You come near me. I'm, I'm not coming near you. I'm not coming near you. Then get your camera out of my face. Uh-huh. Yeah. The only yeah, one coming near is you, fucking bitch. Respect. Oh, oh go back to my country. No, go back to my country. Oh, but no go racism. Back to my Great. Oh, my God. People like this are just Go back mental. to my country. This is, I am in my country. I never said anything to you. <laughs> Go back. Oh, and you have a kid in the back. Oh my God. Jesus. Yeah, Unbelievable. Get ready for some intense fast food drama as a Karen unleashes her wrath on a poor drive through worker over something as small as pickles. You won't believe the chaos that ensues Bruh. in this clip. Is there something else you need, ma'am? I do, because the first one you gave me has pickles and ketchup. You took the pickles off of the second one, but it still has a ton of ketchup on it. You do not. You kept the first I asked. Hundred. You kept the first I hundred. asked. What does that have to do with you, you not making? I don't want either one. I want a sandwich that I has no pickles, no pickles and no ketchup. Hundred. I give you no pickles, no ketchup. I said no. Okay, See, you're not even saying it correctly. I give you two free meals with the coupon. I didn't get two free meals. I got two got sandwiches two that, that, that are incorrect. Uh. I have two sandwiches that are incorrect. Shut up, lady. Ah. My food is still incorrect. Okay, then, it's supposed then, to have okay, a you number three. So I could get these customer food no, serve the customer I that's in front you, of you. you Two man. sandwiches that you are incorrect. They are supposed to have no ketchup, no pickles. A number three with no ketchup, no pickles. All I'm asking for is what I, I ordered. I give you exactly what you ordered. So I you ordered a drink? sandwich with... I, I have it recorded. You know I do. I asked for a sandwich with no ketchup and no pickles. Can you please make I my did, sandwich okay, correctly? Can you please you can say burger correctly? God. I don't I trust you to bring my, it out. It's storming ma like crazy. I will take your food. I have an umbrella. We'll take it and I will, to your car. Okay, let's see how long it takes for you to make my sandwich correctly. I'm sending this to the regional office. Everyone in Johns Creek has really had it with the level of service you provide. It is the worst I've ever seen. All I'm asking for is the sandwich that I ordered. That is all. I will pull up. I will wait for you, but I'd like the sandwich a number three with no ketchup and no pickles, ma'am. That's all. You did not indicate no I did. Ketchup, no pickles. I you did. I did. I did. On everything. On everything. I've been recording from the beginning because I know how you are and I know what you do. Because you're horrible. Give, that is not true, ma'am. It is. You don't. You feel like you're giving me I good customer service? service? Because I give you a meal which is not even value to what you, you purchase in. It didn't I say give, that on the card. And the regional I, manager has given us a letter and another card to use. So I have the card and I took pictures of the one mean, I gave you. But with the cards that you have. Oh, she's so willing to listen to. Ah. 
I'm abusing the system by asking for a value meal, which is what it states on the card. That you made incorrectly. It's okay to give me a sandwich? I said no ketchup, no pickles. And when I tried to order at the at the at the window, when I tried to order back there, you said pull up. Ma'am, I'm gonna make you a third one. No ketchup, no pickles. You Correctly, please. I don't want these two. We don't yes, eat them with ketchup. I, I have you You're recorded saying you that you wouldn't sandwich. take it. You okay, refused it. You the one, Do you, you want know? them both back? I will be happy to give them to you. Do I you don't pull, want them. We so don't eat them with ketchup or pickles. Argue. I'm you a free meal but you are arguing. But I'll be happy. I'm not abusing the system. You are, lady. I have told you that I'll give these two back because all we're going to do is throw them away. We're not going to eat them. I don't want these two. I will make you a third one. Okay. And then you stop, you know, because it has to stop. Life does not conquer for you to keep getting free ride like that. You had an order the last time. Your Which was order, what? Your order. And was, I pulled off and I didn't no, get anything. Your I order, pulled off and I didn't get anything was, because you didn't take the order back there. You didn't answer. Then I drove up here. What order was $28? I'm not going to argue. If you could pull to the second window. This is insane. Now you're making up stuff. Pull down. If you could wait, let me make your a third sandwich and then plus $28 no ketchup, of no credit. pickles. There's no plus twenty eight dollars of credit. There's no credit. There's no credit. There was one card, one meal that you didn't make correctly. You what twenty eight dollars? Where are you getting twenty eight dollars? First of all, when you last time I came here and I ordered a banana strawberry smoothie and I said after you gave me a hard time and you got really nasty, I had my daughter in the car with me. I said, I don't want it, and I pulled away. I didn't get any food and from you, you and I haven't been back. You, you gave me nothing. I didn't get a strawberry banana smoothie, and a strawberry banana smoothie certainly doesn't cost $28, so you're just making up stories. This, I never have a big order. I have me and my daughter. Who is making up stories? I did not have a big order. No. Fucking bitch. God damn. Mm -hmm. I'm give it to you and I don't want three sandwiches. Call. I just and want one again, sandwich made correctly. Have a good night and wait. Terrible. Oh my gosh, this woman is actually insane. That's the insane the woman. One. That's your third one for free. Okay, so you enjoy this. It. Plenty oh. doesn't have no ketchup, no pickle, nothing on it. But you strictly have plain on it with nothing on okay. it. Okay. Will you please take these take other care, two back? I don't want them. She refuses to take the sandwiches. I don't want the other two. I don't want the other two. Please take them. There's no one behind me. Can you take the sandwiches? I don't want. We're not going to eat them. They're going to be thrown away. Lady, just go away already. God damn. Refuse. Bloody Christ. Here's some wild footage from an In-N-Out Burger drive through where multiple customers lose their cool and things quickly escalate into a heated argument. Insults and threats are exchanged and tensions are high. Karen strikes again. This time she's at the drive through window after getting the wrong order. Watch as she unleashes her fury on the poor fast food workers. Will they be able to handle her entitled demands? Extra finished sugar, whipped cream with drizzle on top of mocha. Right? Y'all asked me, did I want the mocha inside? I said no, on top. Bullshit. What the hell is this? And then y'all gave me an attitude and said I needed to add a quarter in here. He looks uh, horrified and confused. I would be too. No Holy fuck. Know nothing in okay, so let's go. Can you redo it? You 
you're not making the call fee, so then why am I talking to you? Then why am I talking to you? Okay, I'll be, I'll be waiting over here. Thank you. All right. Fun. And that concludes our episode of Top 20 Worst drive Through Karens. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to show some love by leaving a like and subscribing if you want to see more videos just like this. And make sure to comment down below which <laughs> clip was your favorite. Until next time, guys, thanks for watching. Damn, am I also happy I've never seen uh, an actual Karen IRL before? Holy fuck. I will lose more brain cells than I have. And I don't, I only have two. Okay, uh, let's say we switch it up a little bit. Um, maybe some. Instant regret. Uh, let's see. Why are all these thumbnails so fucking horny? Holy fuck. This is fuck it. There we go. <laughs> Wer fängt an? <lacht> Jungs! <lacht> Damn! <lacht> Oh no! <laughs> oh god! This is the perfect way to measure an egg while baking. Press the egg firmly down into the mix, crack the egg, and drop the egg down into the hole. Perfect measurement. You're welcome. One, two. Oh! Oh well, fuck. Wait, is it a spider? Oh, I think it is. Oh, oh no! <laughs> that sucks. Oh, oh. Oh my god. Oh fuck. Oh, yeah, bro. That's that's amateur shit. Oh, that sucks. Wait, what? POV. I thought. Uh, it was candy, and not actually a. L oh. Bro. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Okay, that that's impressive. <laughs> okay, sorry. Jesus. Oh yes. <laughs> oh god, the whale. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> What's your biggest flex? I don't want to sound cocky or anything, but play. like, like I'm really pretty. A lot of people just like want to talk to me. Hey. Uh. Um. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Shit, indeed. Oh. <laughs> Impressive. Atención, atención, atención. Si piensas con este mundo. Oh. That should look good. That should look yummy. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! The 
that looks so good. <laughs> what? How do you? How do you manage to do that? Okay, battery. <laughs> Yeah, laughing. Olha só, dois, três, vai. Oh god. What? Oh no. Is that Is that an ostrich egg? Oh god. Okay, that's kind of cute. <laughs> nice. No! Not the hat! Oh no, that, that sucks. Looks so cute. Proof that life comes uh, at you real fast. <laughs> that is so mean. <laughs> no, no, no! <laughs> what? Oh, for oh! <laughs> well, that sucks. <laughs> Oh, I've seen it. Wait, did we literally see this like earlier? Boop. <laughs> oh, a little rat. You look so oh, that sucks. pink. Guess who I am? Uh... Watch, watch. Peppa Pig. <laughs> Bro. Oops, don't think I'll ever be what? over it even now. Oh fuck! Oi! In the name of the Oi. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Don't forget okay. when Irish priest is flat the ripper. Priest phone. Good child on productions. Check the freestyle. Look. <laughs> like the ripper. <laughs> Do I have a rap in the morning to wake you up? Anyway, still nice. She got me <laughs> tea and she got me the chicken soup. No, no, no. Oh. <laughs> Rap prank on my wife. No, does it look like mold? Can mold be red? I don't know. Oh, red! Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh god!
I don't think I'm gonna be pulled over by police, I feel like. Oh no. Oh god. He looks like the Giga Chat dude. Oh, oh no! <laughs> We're gonna go to CP! Let's go! <laughs> oh! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh no! Oh god! When your heels break, and you don't have time to get another pair, Meteorologist Ramesha Shade here to bring us the breakdown. Commercial? All right. Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> Say hey to <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you got what you asked for. This is the most Jesus. What? <laughs> Oh, oh God. Kobe. How, how do you manage to do that? God damn. Oh no. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> oh, what? What? Okay. Hey, Emma. Good try to mom. Good try to mom. Oh, n oh no! <laughs> to be cool with my new kitchen gadget <laughs> and then this happened oh no what's happening what's gonna happen no it's gonna fall off is it Oi. that sucks <laughs> oh yes. You know the world Well, actually, you because you're my world. <laughs> Banger pickup line. The holy fuck. <laughs> I said the world is flat. Banger pickup line though, holy! <laughs> uh, dude? Good day. What is this, man? What Bro. Okay, that's kind of adorable. Good thing, uh... Go Goodbye. Good thing I see a raccoon. 
Oh no, oh that's this one. Raccoon! The silence was so loud, oh god. Are you a raccoon? Or a person? Oh boy. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Okay, that just sucks. Bro. Okay, I sub I suck at table tennis, but I can at least hit it. Oh my god. It's gonna fall. There it is. <laughs> And that's his entire life was put up like that. <laughs> okay, I, I I tried something similar to this. I I find some I find something like this fucking difficult as well. <gasps> ah! Oh, it's so cute! Oh my god! Oh! <laughs> Just a look at the f oh, there's a face! Just like the well shit kind of look he had. Oh my god. Ah, so cute. Man continues to look for fish. Oh my god. <laughs> Epic. Okay, that was cool. Uh, yeah, let's see the stupid fails. There we go. Just ask me what the new followers like. I had to be honest. Oh my amazing. god, you don't you mind, he wouldn't have enough to blow his own <laughs> nose. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, oh you're about to beat some ass. <laughs> he has to be drunk. Oh my god. Wait, what is that? What is that? What the f Oh, what the f This got some speed. Ah! I'm gonna do a back trip. Aye! Well, that was fine. <laughs> oh my god. I <laughs> do so much of a <laughs> oh! Oh no! Oh, I- uh, Oh no! I thought those were headphones! Those are fucking razors! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh god!
<laughs> no! Oi, oi! Oh, oh no! Oi! That's this sucks. beer that's been outside, and now it is snowing beer in our living room. Come on, tell me what it tastes like. <laughs> I would assume beer. Subscribe and like this video <laughs> on three seconds to make this sad cat happy. Three, hmm. two, one. No. You liar. <laughs> J'avançais comme ça tranquille et d'un coup, oh, une porte quoi. Putain, accès strictement interdit. Wow. Heureusement que je suis abonné à Mazdaq. No, what? What? Bro. Ah! Bro. Oh god! Okay. Just do it, just do it, just do it. No, no, no. Why do people keep doing it? Oh. Hadley, that's too short. Do you know what? It'll probably be fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> Hadley, that's too short. Do you know what? It'll probably be fine. Why do people still do that? Oh my god. Go back. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, that sucks. Oh, <laughs> this dude is, this dude is just having a bad day. Oh my god. How do I? I can't get it. You can do it. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, fuck. Are you okay? Ready. Go. Oh! Oh, that was a fart. Oh, watch it. I just got mine to see Bro. how bad it was. It looks like the picture. <laughs> Good fuck. Oh god, oh no! Okay, I, oh boy. I thought she was gonna be locked out, but you know, that, that didn't happen. <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> that sucks. He thinks he's going home today. I think not. Oh, no. He can't even get out of the drive very well. POV <laughs> fell asleep <laughs> in the last appointment. <laughs> oh my god, calm down. I felt you doing shit on my fucking one. <laughs> 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 
Ow. Oh! Ow! I came in dressed like a dog for nothing? <laughs> <laughs> Can I give you a biscuit? I don't know how to apply this. Yeah. I will give you a discount though because I am just impressed at this point. I didn't think my name would get weirder. Can I get my biscuit doggy style? Can I have a just like this? <laughs> okay. That was funny. Oh! Goodbye. <laughs> no. Why? Did he actually manage to shit in it? I fucking hope not. Love you, Kim. <laughs> oh, that was good. It's made with. It's made. <laughs> it's made with ground. It's made with ground glutinous rice. It's made with ground. <laughs> Uh, someone who doesn't natively speak English, this just like don't speak natively in like one language. Oh, like for you, yeah, believe me, I have multiple. I this is just oh my god, like having to find words because you just don't fucking remember what's called is annoying. <laughs> it's almost with hard. <laughs> It's made with ground glutinous. <laughs> ground glutinous. Okay. Ground glutinous rice. Thank yeah, that, I, I can see how that is a little hard to say. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Oh, bro! Why? Why so horny? Why so horny? What the hell? All right, that's in the right direction. All right. Holy shit! Ready? Yeah. yeah. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you suck, bro! You suck! You suck! You suck! Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> Are you even paying in the right direction? Are you even... <laughs> Hold on, stop, 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 stop. <laughs> I hold him up. What? I hold him up. What the fuck? Okay, that's not as close for... I, I don't know. What the fuck? <sighs> but, yeah, I think I'm going to call it here. Uh, since I have some stuff to do uh, later, uh, I think this might be a good spot. Holy shit, my glasses are creaking. My ticks are destroying them. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I have stuff to do later, so I think this might be a good spot to end uh, tonight's stream uh so yeah as always if you are new to the channel if you like what you saw be sure to follow if you're not already and uh, also be sure to check out the rest of my social media such as uh, youtube twitter demon and tiktok give them all a follow also be sure to join my discord discord if you want to of course and, uh, yeah. Let's find someone to rate, shall we? Uh, let's see. Now, let's rate it. 
this person. There we go. <clears throat> Great. And uh, yeah, that about does it for today's stream. I hope you guys did enjoy. And I'll be seeing you whenever the fuck I decide to stream again. Good night, everyone. Bye. Thank you.